We interrupt this uh, to move to the issue that the family of uh, Idris Mukhtar is this morning giving a press briefing on his medical situation and the investigation process. Idris is a former Garissa County minister was sh was shot and left with a bullet lodged in his head in August last year. Let's cross over there and listen in. It's devastating if they try to remove it where it's lodged. It is in the brainstem. But uh, fortunately, other conditions, fighting the infection, the wound, whatever, stabilized. But uh, he still remains to be unconscious. Eleventh uh, last month, January, we brought him back with the advice of the doctors from India. Told us we have now done what we supposed to do. We've tackled the, the wound and the infection, but there may be no drug that gives you, you give to the patient in coma and they wakes him up. So they say, we are recommending a home-based care. Then we throw him back here. Of course, flying him, a patient on a stretcher is very expensive. It cost us around four million something to bring him back, to take him also back another four million. 400 something. So when we brought him here, we converted one of his rooms in the house into an IC, ICU room. You will see it, it's here. So we bought all the machines because he has to use a suction machine. He, he cannot urinate normally, he has to have that, that tube. He has also a big tube to feed, all that. So we try to get that facility here in the room. We bought this multiple bed, hospital bed, all that. We have also hired two nurses, one day, one night. We have also hired a physiotherapist, comes, gives them a Exercise a lot of leaves. We have also uh, engaged uh, a neurosurgeon who once in a while comes and looks at his condition. As I'm talking, the condition of Idris has not changed. You will see that I didn't need to tell you. He's still not conscious. That uh, former CEC finance, very vibrant young man who has been upbeat in his future, who was the sole breadwinner for his family, three children and the wife, is on that bed. You see him now, unconscious for six months. Tomorrow will be his. 34th birthday tomorrow. It coincided that he was born on Friday, and tomorrow is Friday, and his birthday. Unless God changes the situation between now and uh, tomorrow, he's going to spend on the bed unconscious in that very eventful and important aspect of life. That is the family there of a former Garissa finance executive Idris Mukhtar giving an update on the state of his health. Uh, the case on two suspects said to be charged uh, with that shooting is set to begin next month. But the family there says that medics in India have done all they could but could do little to change the condition of Idris Mukhtar. They say home-based care was recommended and they had to turn one of his rooms in his house into an ICU uh, care room with a bullet still lodged in his head. Idris Mukhtar remains under